All right, what is up guys? We got another episode of Weird Stuff Wednesday here for you today. I've got the Ching Juju. This disc features an extremely blunt edge, weird giant divots on top. They feel pretty good for putting, to be honest. They feel horrible for a normal backhand throw and they feel somewhere in between, but more on the horrible side for forehand as well. But honestly, for putting, it really feels like it would be a lot easier to keep the nose down if you actually use these for putting. So I'm excited to actually putt with this a little bit more. But yeah, Ching Juju is supposed to be not very glidey. It's supposed to just go where you aim it. That was what it was designed for. So we're here at Harrisburg Park. This is one of the shortest courses. It's a great course to practice with the Juju and just see how it performs in conditions where you'd actually want to use a putter. Oh, it's very straight. And today's video would not be possible without the help of Foot Fault Disc Golf. Foot Fault Disc Golf enjoyed Weird Stuff Wednesdays, the first episode, the first two episodes. So he's like, hey, I got a Ching Juju you can have. So big shout out to Foot Fault DG on YouTube and Instagram. He shot me over the Ching Juju and I had seen them before, but they resell for like 80 to 100 bucks and I wanted to try one, but I'm not gonna buy a $100 disc for one video. It just doesn't make sense. So, Footfall DG hooking it up with the Ching Juju. Super pumped to throw a few more shots with it. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people have them, but I don't even think people are throwing these anymore because they're valuable, they're collector's items. So this is probably the only Ching Juju video you'll see of them actually being thrown that's been made in the last 10 years. So anyway, Footfall DG, thank you for giving me the disc for today's video. That flies really straight. So it seems like it's one of those discs where if you throw it on hyzer, it's not just gonna hyzer out, it's gonna flip up and go straight. But if you throw it flat, it's also gonna go straight. And that is a really useful flight because a lot of discs that hyzer flip when thrown flat will also turn. So that's a super good flight. So far, it's flying pretty well. We're not gonna call these birdies today. One thing that's interesting too is the divots are like, off center so it's very close to the edge here but very far from the edge here so i'm assuming if you grab it in different like you have all these different uh grips you can work with where you have a little bit more you know room to put the disc deeper in your hand but still be using the divot oh oh i did it go in that went over the basket by like eight inches some of the discs that i've thrown for weird stuff wednesday are illegal like the gateway alien I had. So I couldn't use that in a tournament, but I thought it would be a fun idea. Once I have like eight discs, I do like two months of Weird Stuff Wednesday. I actually, I play MPO, so I have cash, so I have to play MPO. I thought it'd be funny to sign up for an MPO tournament using only discs from Weird Stuff Wednesday. So using the Ching, using the 3D printed discs, using all kinds of weird stuff. I thought that would be a really fun video. RIP to my rating but I think it's good content. Ugh. 140 feet, we gotta throw a big hyzer. So I'm gonna throw it with a little bit of height, a little bit of hyzer, and see if we can't get it to actually carry to the left. Little height, hyzer. Oh, oh, roll away. Big roll away. This Ching Juju is a disc I've actually never seen out on the course. I still think it's a decent disc. As far as how it feels in the hand, putting wise, I've never felt another disc that feels like that when putting. And usually discs like that, there's a dedicated fan base where you'll see people out and about with them once in a while. But I think maybe the resale market got so expensive and they were so hard to just get for a reasonable price that people probably did away with actually throwing them. <sighs> All right, so we have, we, it rained so much the last few days. We do not want to leave it right or it's gone forever. Ooh, we got pretty lucky here. We have this beautiful little babbling brook here. We landed just between those rocks there. We could have drifted all the way into the ocean. All right, certain grips are definitely worse than others. It's kind of hard to control the height because you have all this 
when you have somewhere to really place your thumb inside the disc, you get like more downward pressure. So you have to like push up on your fingers harder. So it's like, you get a lot more pop, but it's really hard to control the height out of your hand. All right, hole seven is a crusher. Tree gap, 174 uphill. Oh, I got some. I thought that was gonna be perfect, but then it got that late flip. So some stuff from Ching you do, do still see from time to time. I'm not sure. I There's a lot of debate that goes on in some of the older um, disc golf forums where people were arguing. Did Ching have their own plastic? Is it just Innova DX plastic? It feels like really old Innova DX mixed with old Innova Pro is what it feels like. But if you look in players' bags nowadays, a lot of the old school Innova throwers will throw Ching Rocks, Ching T-Birds, Ching AVRs. You don't see them often, but they have some of the coolest looking die jobs, like factory dies, that they ever did in disc golf. On the bottom of the disc, it has the divots. So it's hard to know like where to put your under side of your fingers too. So you have all of these bumps sort of getting in the way here. Go. Ooh, so if you take a look at the bottom here, it says patent pending. We have the accelerator contours. And I did definitely get a little bit of extra glide on that putt. So maybe these don't slow the disc down. Maybe they speed it up because that circle two putt looked like it was gonna miss left and then it just kept gliding. I'm assuming there must've been a lot of people who really like these Ching Jujus. And I'll bet there's a few throwers of them out there probably more so out on the West Coast, I would assume, because they've sort of had disc golf over there longer. So some of these older brands, older molds, you tend to see them out on that side of the country a bit more. On the East Coast, you tend to see a lot more of the newer stuff and not as many older players. All right, so this thumb track should be perfect for an Annie putt. A little spinner. Go. Wait, this disc might actually be insane. All right, hole nine is the signature hole. If you live in Charlotte, then you've definitely seen one of your friends ace this on Instagram. Always looks good on those Instagram reels. I'm definitely gonna toy around with this disc a lot more after this video because I really like the way it flies. Oh, go. Yes. <laughs> It actually flies really great. It is a really solid putter. I do really, it looks like it gets a little more speed and glide. All right guys, that's gonna be today's installment of Weird Stuff Wednesdays. If you have any weird stuff that you want me to try out and do videos on, I really like making these kinds of videos. Right now, this is probably my favorite video I get to make each week. I'm really trying to source cool stuff and I have a few discs in the queue ready to go, but I'm always looking for more. This is a series I'd like to keep on going all the way to the end of the year if I could. I really love throwing these weird discs. And once we get eight to 10 discs, if you guys want to see me sign up for like a flex start, like a one round tournament or a two day tournament, let me know in the comment section down below. Once we have a bag of all the weird stuff, I'll go play a tournament with these, I don't care. I'll tank my rating for the content, it's all good. Anyway, you're watching Iceberg TV. Really appreciate you guys for watching and take care.